manual cutting tips and techniques. Follow standard safety procedures. Use proper eye and hand protection as well as protective clothing. Make sure that the torch is properly assembled with new parts. Older worn parts left in the torch from a previous project may be at the end of their usefulness. Use a sturdy table or bench that is waist high or higher for control during cutting. Steady your body by leaning against the table surface. Slide the trigger release toward the back of the torch handle while simultaneously squeezing the trigger. The pilot arc will start. Bring the torch within transfer distance to the work. The main arc will transfer to the work and the pilot arc will shut off. To start a cut from the edge of the workpiece, with the work clamp attached to the workpiece, hold the torch perpendicular 90 degrees to the edge of the workpiece. If using shielded consumables, no standoff is needed. With unshielded, maintain a 1 8 inch standoff. Press the trigger to start the arc. Pause at the edge until the arc has completely cut through the workpiece. To pierce the metal, angle the torch slightly to direct blowback particles away from the torch tip rather than directly back into it until the pierce is complete. In a portion of unwanted metal, start the pierce just off the cutting line and then continue cutting. After the pierce is complete, hold the torch perpendicular to the workpiece. Exposed tip drag cutting offers the cleanest cut with the least amount of heat effect zone and the narrowest kerf. Use a drag cutting technique, tip on work, for cutting one quarter inch material at 60 amps or less with a non-metallic straight edge. For standoff cutting, hold the torch 1 8 to 3 8 inches from the workpiece to begin the cut. For consistent standoff height, use a standoff guide by positioning the legs of the guide against the workpiece. A drag shield cup can be used with a non-conductive straight edge for some heavier applications. Use a 5 to 10 degree leading torch angle. This will minimize dross. While cutting, Make sure sparks exit from the bottom of the workpiece. Maintain a smooth travel speed with the plasma arc trail following at a 5 to 10 degree angle. Always pull the torch towards you rather than pushing it away, using your shoulder for movement rather than your elbow. Torch standoff should be 1 8 to 3 8 inches above the cutting surface depending on the size of the system. Cutting expanded metal is easy with the autopilot restart function. Victor Technologies offers a variety of cutting accessories, such as standoff and torch cutting guides that are available individually or as a part of a kit to make cutting easier. In the absence of these accessories, use a non-conductive substance to cut straight lines and shapes. To cut a quick straight line, Use a non-metallic straight edge or roller guide for best results. Bevel cuts are also relatively simple, requiring an elevated straight edge to support the torch. More precise angles can be achieved using the adjustable angle on the roller guide. Use the circle cutting guide kit to cut a large circular radius. This technique is usually mastered after only a few tries. Practice the various cutting methods so that you are comfortable and adept at performing them. The travel speed, torch angle, standoff distance, and thickness of the material will all play a role in your cuts. Gouging performance depends on parameters such as torch travel speed, current level, lead angle, and standoff. Hold the torch so that the nozzle is within 1 16th inch from the workpiece. Hold the torch at a 45 degree angle to the workpiece. Press the trigger to obtain a pilot arc and transfer the arc to the workpiece. Maintain the 45 degree angle to the workpiece, pushing the plasma arc in the direction of the gouge. Changing the torch angle will change the dimensions of the gouge. Note, keep a small distance between the tip and metal so as not to reduce consumables life or damage the torch. If the torch sputters but doesn't produce an arc, 
the consumables may be too tight. Loosen the consumables about one eighth of a turn. If the torch does not cut through the workpiece, slow down. Cutting speed may be too fast. The torch may be tilted too much. Try tilting your torch slightly higher. Metal may be too thick to penetrate. Parts may be worn and need to be replaced. Cutting current may be too low. Increase the amperage. Check gas pressure. It may be too low. If cut quality is poor, the metal might be too thick. Use a unit with more output. Or the wrong consumables are being used. Change consumables to match the application. The torch may be moving too quickly or slowly. Adjust speed accordingly. When the arc sputters and consumables life is becoming shorter, there may be moisture in the gas supply. Blow out and dry the gas line. Or the gas pressure is too low. Increase the gas pressure. Visit your local distributor and experience the true performance of a Cutmaster today.